So please understand that your early funding will come from yourself, your own personal resources, your family and friends and others that know you well. It'll be difficult to raise traditional funding from a bank or an SBA loan or through other means because they traditionally require a personal guarantee or a recourse claim against you or collateral such as your car and they can actually come and take your stuff. And so I advise you as a small business owner to avoid taking on any kind of an obligation where the, uh, the guarantee is against anything but the company itself. So they can come and claim the desks of the company. They can come and claim the, the product that you're trying to create, but they can't come and take anything that's yours personally. Now we're seeing a couple of new vehicles for raising money and it's kind of a democratization or a, a uh, democratizing of the ability to raise money through uh, Kickstarter and the Jobs Bill and Indiegogo and other things which are essentially peer-to-peer -peer kinds of sources for you to raise money. Now there's some great things about this. It permits people to have access to new kinds of investments, but it's also probably going to have some shortcomings as well. There's limited regulatory involvement so far and there's probably going to be more regulatory oversight in this. There's limited knowledge of the investments that you're investing in as well because you can't do a complete due diligence or an underwriting of the investment itself. So just understand that it's sometimes better to have two sophisticated, competent investors uh, versus 200 who really don't know your business very well. They can't add much value to it. It's nice to have money from friends and family and people who are in your camp, but it can be difficult if things don't go well. So look for alternatives that will permit you to have sophisticated funding from parties that can truly help your business.